cannibal uncle. A long time ago, it is said, a man-eater disguised in the shape of a man once walked through a village while the villagers were all out in the fields tending to their livestock or checking the growth of their maize. The hideous man-eater, with countless sores all over his scaly body, managed to grab a few unsuspecting children who had been left behind. He hurriedly shoved them into his large sack and threw it on his back before quietly disappearing back into the forest, the terrified children too afraid to scream out. When the villagers returned back from the fields, not a sign of their children, only the footprints of the man-eater. On his journey back to his own village, the man-eater slowly grew thirsty as he dragged his sack full of children onwards, and thus he decided to re enter rest at one of the human villages. Uncle, please leave your heavy sack out here, the young girl said to the man-eater when he had explained, when in fact he had lied, that he was on his way back from a festival and his throat was parched. Despite his clever disguise and polite demeanor, however, the young girl had quickly realized from the beginning that he was in fact a man-eater. And so while he was gulping down beer from the gourd she had brought him, she whispered this to her younger sister. Sister, uncle is a man-eater. I heard sounds in that sack. Please go and see it. As the other sister went outside to inspect the sack, she poured the man-eater another drink of the sweet beer, which the man-eater gladly accepted. Outside, the younger sister untied the rope from around the sack and out popped three little skates children. She comforted them and told one of the village boys to take them back to their own village. With the now empty sack in her hand, she hurriedly ran out into the forest and pulled a beehive from a tree and carefully placed it inside. She also caught a few extremely poisonous snakes and carefully placed them inside the sack as well. When she found a hornet's nest, this too she carefully placed into the sack with the rest of the other terrible creatures. In fact, whatever biting or stinging creature she came across, she put that into the sack. When she returned the sack, the man-eater had just finished his last gourd of beer and was ready to leave. He thanked his hosts kindly and bid them farewell. Along the way, the man-eater cursed loudly and shook his fists but still walked on, thinking that the miserable children in the sack were pinching and biting him. He shouted this at them, You may pinch me, you may bite me, but I will eat you all the same. Eventually the man-eater reached his own village and called the rest of the other man-eaters to his hut. They bolted all the doors and bolted all the windows and threw away the keys. For tonight they were going to feast. Unfortunately, there was to be no such feast, for when the sack was opened, unimaginable creatures poured out angrily, snakes, scorpions, bees, hornets, they all filled the hut and put an agonizing end to the fiends. The end.